All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into our next game here. Spawn here at the nine o'clock position. It'll be the Brown Protoss. It'll be Breach here, who's also with just awarded modmanship on our Twitch channel. And his opponent at the nine o'clock position, a good, a good person that I know as our awesome Blue Terran. It is uh, the Blue Terran Seriosity, the uh, the clan leader of. Team Walk here, and also a little background uh, information on Breach. He's a Bulgarian, I want to say. I could be wrong. Chat, feel free. Actually, no, Breach, you can actually just go verify this for, for your own self. I believe, I know he's a GM European player. I'm just not sure if he's from Bulgaria or some other uh, other European country that I just don't know of. So, my, neg my negligence is a little annoying. But anyway, with that, we will go into the cast. So, it will be... And his breach? No, he's just doing a pylon scout. Okay, I'm I'm a little off because I was just watching. It's kind of fun watching my own vod for one. So it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go watch him. Did that for two hours. But uh, gonna be doing a gas first build actually. No barracks. Uh, is he gonna proxy it? What is serious are you planning? He went. Oh no 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 no. He's not going gas first. He's just. He's doing that to stop any kind of gas deal. All right, I'm stupid, and yeah. So it's actually going gas first. I don't even know if you can even go gas first build some brood war. When I think about it, yeah, I don't think you can actually. I don't think there's any Terran build order that you, requires you to go gas first. I could be wrong about that though. But generally. Uh, but now I don't have BMW, so this might be a little bit more difficult uh, for me to uh, get get some funny um, going on because I don't really know any other co-casters uh, to the extent that I know BMW or Box. So if those two aren't here, then generally uh, my co-casting is not very good. Uh, okay, so gas starting to be saturated. So things are looking very normal. We'll see if we have like an FD push, a siege expand. Uh, two fact coming out a one barracks FE. We'll have to figure out what really we have seriously going for as everything's looking very standard. Same thing for uh, Breach right here. He could go for he could put down three more gateways or two more gateways, excuse me, and just go for like a just mass goon build. Could just do a one gate expand, um, less common. I guess it would be like a like a one. I think generally you would probably take up to Robo, get Reaver attack, and then expand. But I don't know. Generally, I would probably assume second gate going down and just putting out more more uh, goons. But could be a one gate expand. I'm not sure how. The, generally, you just threw down a second gateway, but we'll see if Reach is doing that. Looks like he might be doing that. No, he's going to be putting down a pylon. Stop any kind of um, proxy. Marines are going to check out there for any, any kind of proxies right now. Still producing Marines right now. Does have a factory on the way, uh, and no second factories on the way. So it looks like it's just going to be a FD push to follow up into an expansion. So very standard stuff by Seriosity right here, uh, and we'll see how well Seriosity is doing. And there goes down the second gateway right now, ag along with the Goon uh, range. So we'll be applying some pressure. Can he deny the scout though? Uh, this this is actually not really great for Seriosity at all because he doesn't know what's really coming at his front door. He doesn't know if this is just going to be like a one gate pressure. He doesn't know. He doesn't know if there's just an expansion to follow this up. So really, right now, Seriosity is playing in the dark. He's going to get he's going to immediately get a bunker. Uh, but I'm wondering if this CC would actually be in range um, with with uh, of that. I just feel like it might be. But anyway, two guns are going to be getting in here. Um, We'll be doing a little bit of pressure here. I don't think it's going to do too, too much. But we'll see. We'll see if Seriosity can really deal with this. Because, again, I just feel like that this, yeah, this command center is going to be within range. I don't really know where the bunker placement was really coming from for that. But anyway, aside from all that, still just pointing out two gate goons. Uh, might follow us up with an expansion soon. And going to try to push this back, though. Uh, will it work, though? I mean... Breach can probably kite this all day, and he might get another marine. Yes, he will. So bad decision making by Seriosity in this in this regard to really just go out there and try to pressure. Because now, really, 
two, I mean, this is half the DPS what that bunker initially had. And that's what Marines are good for. And that's generally why you get the bunker up there anyway for the siege expand. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't put it behind Breach just to, with five, with five, five goons. Just go and just do a run by. Because without siege mode or anything, yeah, that's what he's going to do. He realizes there isn't a lot here. Um, but he's gone on the high ground, though. So, actually, Seriosity might be okay. Uh, but we'll see if any kind of damage can do, uh, if Breach can do any kind of damage right here. The goons are kind of bugging out. Their AI is stupid. We'll co kill off the vulture that pops out. So, no more spider mines available. And goons, though, aren't really good for harassing. I think it takes, like, what, six shots maybe to kill off an SCV as they do, like, what, five damage? Let's believe it. Gets another tank kill, though. And this is actually doing a lot of damage. Um, just in the aspect of just killing off two tanks. I I feel like that really hurts Terran in so many ways, and, that, and also he's losing a ton of SCVs though. Um, these four SCVs are easily going to get killed off, and even going to get a bunker kill as well if it's not getting going to get repaired. There's nothing in the bear uh, in the bunker either to continue pressuring here. We're just going to be following up with an expansion down here as well, and he's going to follow up with a uh, Robotech. Uh, probably just for obstec and then just go into a standard macro game from here um, If it even goes that far because breach has been doing so much damage um, I mean 10 kills on this one lone goon. That's just how much damage the multitasking of breach is phenomenal up to 300 APM And that's not spamming. That's him actually doing stuff, which is the uh, difference between You know a lower C rank well, I don't even know like a lower C rank APM and like D rank APM versus like higher level players that actually have 300 APM that actually utilize it. It's kind of how crazy it is. Uh, but anyway, back at home base, what do we have for Breach? Uh, we did see the Robo coming up. It still is coming up. I thought more time has passed, but uh, anyway. All right. So very interesting early game. Uh, I think it just got cleaned up. Yeah, the Goon just finally got cleaned up. But, I mean, he's lifted off. Did he kill all that CC? No, he didn't. So, the dash will stop mining. He's going to have obstacle to, to clear off minefields. And we could even have, like, two base arbs to follow this up and just recall on the main base and then just force a GG that way. Um, that would probably be a really quick way, a little bit more risky way to follow this up with. But, I mean, really, the options are... I mean, there's so many doors that that Breach has to him. Uh, we'll have to see what he does. He's, he's getting in a forge, so he might just start um, teching. He may just take a third base and then just play a little bit more safe and get the upgrades going and stuff. Um, eventually, I don't. Th I, I think eventually the contain that breach will have uh, will just have to be will be broken down just because of the nature of Terran and tanks are just really good for that. But we'll have to see. Getting up turrets just in case for DTs. Because GTs could definitely be a threat with a DT drop here. Two more gates are being thrown down. No, four gates are being thrown down at this time. Looking at the harvester count right now. 23 uh, SCVs to 40 probes. Just going to show how skewed the numbers are. And this is what I was saying. The nurture of Terran, the nature of Terran would just be allowed to, for them to very, very, very just kind of claw the way out of the main base and will force the goons to back off. And that's what it's going to do. Uh, maybe get a couple more shots off the CC, which uh, might be a little bit more annoying. Uh, we'll lose a goon, maybe a second one. No, we will not. And Breach is just going to be doing with the two base all in. Uh, or an, an expansion. He's going to be mining out the back door for whatever reason. Um, gets to rally probes faster. That makes sense. And getting that plus one. So, I mean, he's up to like six gauge. So... I don't know if he's just going to pump more units and go for like a like a plus one timing. Because, I mean, he has 86 supply compared to 38 of Seriosity at this point. So, the damage has been done for Breach. And Breach can just do a lot of stuff from here. Fair. But I think there might be more of a macro. Ooh, what's this? Double Stargate. Um... Might be telling me a carrier transition of how odd that would be for this map. Um, hmm, let me look at this map again. Harbor Bridge for carriers? I don't know. I, I'm not really feeling this map for carriers. I mean, back here, I guess, to harass, but otherwise. The only reason why I say carriers, because I, I know you can do like two base carriers and you can make two, two carriers up at two bases, like continuously, but. Interesting, nonetheless. Um, 
but I pretty I, I'm I'm pretty sure you can't make two arbiters off of one base. But we'll see what the tech is. Do we do we have a fleet beacon going down, or do we have a tribunal going down? And, yeah. But, I mean, I mean, Breach needs to do something because, I mean, they're on, they're on equal basing now. Carrions are unbalanced here. This is a carrier map, apparently. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This is a carrier map. For some odd reason. Oh, oh, I know why. No, never mind. Okay, no, I see why. Never mind. I thought this was flat for whatever reason. I thought this map was flat. I forgot the ridges and stuff like that. Never mind. I sound like a dumbass right now. I apologize. Whole chat, whole 233 people. This is a carrier map, so never mind. And breach, never mind. There is the fleet beacon. He's going to go and get two base carriers, uh, or three, three base now. And vultures going to be getting out here. We have to be a little careful. Uh, but there's already goons in position to really shut this down. Really love how responsive breach has been. Uh, and Breach is already like in positions to really stop any kind of like risky bases that are going up. Uh, at the same time, I think really Bre uh, Sirius is checking for any kind of sneaky bases by Breach, but uh, that's just not going to happen because Breach didn't take any sneaky bases because he's awesome. So, getting that uh, the air upgrades carriers are being um, starting to come out. Goon will get killed off. So if all of a sudden Seriosity did want to take that base, it wouldn't be scouted immediately other than the fact that carriers are probably rallied up there anyway to kill off anything. But whatever. And what are we having here? Breach's supply. Breach's supply hasn't been going up super high just because he's not producing as many goons, I would say, up to this point. Um, he's been teching. And he's getting the carrier upgrade, and he's been taking a base down, and putting down all that other extra fun stuff. No, no third gas yet. No, not fully, uh, hasn't saturated that third gas yet. Uh, which is, would probably help out with more goon production, but getting the double upgrades going right there, getting the shield now, and I believe that was Citadel, okay. A uh, little delayed uh, leg speed, but that's to be given when you're going for a carrier transition. But the thing that I really like about what Breach is doing right here as well, Breach is often, is still producing, it's not like, he's doing it like, he's still making gateway units, which I really, really like. Um, now, this hard push, of what it seems, of sorts, can be difficult, just, just because there isn't as many gateway units out in one area right now that he can't really pressure this correctly. And he's going into a choke point, which is just not helping his case at all either. So, this push can be very difficult. Uh, and Tyrant's probably want to take his third uh, third base soon. Are these any CCs? No, he's been off with four factories this entire time. Siriusy is getting his upgrades as well. Breach is. I mean, this is actually really nice. What also what Siriusy is doing? He's pushing across this central choke point. So really, it's going to get very difficult for Zelt to really kind of come in there. Um, other than um, other than like a single file line instead of going kind of arcing their way in, so it's really nice. But I mean, there's a lot of goons here. There's a lot of goons. Um, he's on a high ground, but still, I, I think that if he just you know one a two a's three a's four a's, I think there's gonna be more than enough goons to really clean this up. There's 26 goons. Carrier's gonna carrier's gonna be. He's gonna show. It's carriers. We should probably see an immediate reaction to Goliath. Yeah, GG by Siriosky, and that will clean this up. Uh, and quick game and yeah all right with that guys that will conclude game number one between breach and seriosity game one will be going down to breach and we'll see if seriosity can make an ace match possible or if breach will just 2-0 we'll be back momentarily guys thanks for watching peace